Oh, Minecraft. A marvel of a game made over 13 years ago. It was a game that came out for many different systems. And playing Minecraft has become easier over the years, as now there is one unique launcher that showcases all of your Windows, your Dungeons, your Legends, your Java Edition, all in one seamless area. You could go anywhere. You could click all your mods if you want to. You could play the latest snapshot, latest releases, whatever you want to do. Currently, I have Vault Hunter selected because that's just what I've been playing. And as previously mentioned, this game does come in two very distinct versions, Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Java Edition. And while most people agree that Java Edition is a little bit more superior, there's been a lot of parity changes over the last years to get these guys more caught up to date. They're still vastly different, and Bedrock is a fan favorite kind of because of the fact that it is available on consoles, while Java is a lot more flushed out. So professional Minecraft players and people who really love to mod are more keen to play on the Java Edition. I personally like both. Um, I play Bedrock more often because, again, it's console access, and it does allow me to play on my Switch, my PS4, my PS5, anything I really want to play on. Um, Pocket Edition is also considered to be Bedrock, so I can bring it wherever I want to go, which is always great. But speaking about one of those latter consoles, the Nintendo Switch. And speaking of the Switch, I famously made an episode of a show that we were running called The Boot four years ago, almost five years ago now, where in Minecraft 1.14 it didn't really perform too well on the Switch. I, in fact, was able to go from my boot menu to in-game in the amount of time that it took me to brew not one, but two cups of coffee using my Keurig. If you don't believe me, check out the video. I brew two cups of coffee. It takes over three minutes uh, for the game to boot up. But that's what I'm here to test today. The other day, I was actually playing Minecraft on the Switch. I was at work. I was like, hey, I want to just test this out using my new OLED. And I was surprised by the fact that I went from menu to in a game without even realizing that it had happened. And that made me question, does Minecraft run better in 2024 on the Switch than it did back in 2019? That's what we're going to find out today. Because you see, I have three Nintendo Switches. I have my day one switch i have kelly's 2019 switch which is the animal crossing and i have my oled i got my oled because my 20 i mean my day one switch started fritzing up a little bit and i kind of just wanted something a little bit more modern so for my birthday she got me the oled this is the original console from when i did the boot on so we're gonna find out does this version of minecraft load up any faster today now there's been various updates there's been system updates is it a seamless play on all three versions of this console is it still just as bad we're about to find out we're going to embark on this journey together i'm going to do a side by side by side of all three versions of minecraft from start to finish and we're going to see is playing minecraft on the switch a viable option in 2024 all right here we have it the original nintendo switch that i used for the boot it's the day one edition we're going to go from dashboard to in game and then we're going to just run around for about a minute or so to see what the performance looks like. But without further ado, let's get going. We're going to start as soon as this video hits about 20 seconds in. After this part, after checking to see if software completed, 24 seconds was when it started. So this is already looking a lot more promising. I feel like it was like minutes before I even saw the load bar. No way. No way is it this much faster. We're going to create a new world. We're gonna use the same seed for everything, so we're gonna use whatever the first letter is. Uh, this is me fumbling. Oh, it it's frozen. <laughs> okay, we're we're back. Create. It did freeze for a second there. Building terrain. And these are all things that you'll have to deal with. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna fumble and other versions of this as well okay so we're now building terrain for quite some time so this is where it's kind of struggling maybe this is because it's a specific seed that i went through uh, but we have some bar progress we're over a minute now so hmm Alright, loading appearance. 
We are in. It took us a minute and 23 seconds to get in. Let's run around this world for a little bit, see if there's any sort of rendering issues. We're going to try to do the same path for every single one that we do. So Vandal Biome off to the side. Yeah, no, I feel like this is actually running pretty well. We got clouds on. Let's get up here and just break some things. We'll break these blocks. We're not getting like ghost blocks. Is there a tree nearby? There is. Let's go over to this tree here. We're gonna to try to remember to do all of this inside of the actual other version as well. What I want to see is how does crafting look? Okay, we got a pop up on the thing. And it's not causing any lag. Crafting table. Put that. Okay, a little stutter going in and out of the crafting table. Nothing major. Yeah, I feel like if you have no other choice, this is actually way better. In the three minutes of making this clip, I've got it in. I've made a crafting table. I ran around the world a little bit. I wouldn't even have been done loading it last time. So, that's a good first start. All right, we're going to be moving on to the 2019 or the V2 Switch, which came out in August of 2019. Same deal. This is Kelly's Switch now. It's the Animal Crossing exclusive one. We're going to be moving on as soon as it says. This goes away. 15 seconds in. That's when the timer starts. So, moving on from 15 seconds in, let's see how this compares. Now, we had some stuttering on the world creation last time. Let's see if that's still a thing. This also seems like it's already way faster. We're going to go advanced. We're going to go to A. It didn't actually stutter there like it did last time. I feel like last time it froze for a good five seconds didn't have that weird screen that didn't happen last time okay we're building terrain we are now 40 seconds in i feel like at this point we're already about a minute in last time so i feel like that little stutter on that v1 switch um made it a little while longer but let's see if it's going to be comparable if it's going to be comparable we're going to be at 128 when the world gets in we're at 110 now so it's actually already kind of close we're at 118 got 10 seconds to get into the world could the v1 even with the stutter be slightly faster and the answer is it's exactly the same um so exactly the same in terms of building snare and we got a little bit of lag there we didn't have that and it is also struggling to build in some of these um chunks which we didn't have on the V1 switch. Interesting. Interesting. We didn't have that at all. Which now it seems to have calmed down. But still some chunkiness there. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to run up to this mountain in front of us. We're going to break some dirt. And then we're going to run over and we're going to... But still you can see even some like map rendering... Breaking block seems fine. We'll just come over to one of these trees. It's going to be kind of the same experience. We just want to see how it goes into menus and gets out of menus. Pop-ups there for recipes. More recipes. Using the book. Going into the water apparently. So yeah, a little stuttering and stammer going into the crafting table, but nothing too bad. I would say that that is a viable test. They were exactly the same time, which is interesting. A minute 28. That's super, super interesting. On to the OLED. Alrighty, guys. We have the OLED, my daily Switch. Um, I've had it for about a year now, but let's see how Minecraft loads upon it. If I was a betting man, I'd say it's going to be from a minute 23. Let's get going. It's going to be from the moment that it starts actually processing which is now 20 seconds in i just waited for an even number so 
Let's see how this goes. I, I think that there's going to be really no difference, um, which is rather impressive, I would say. Okay. Definitely some stuttering there. Would not let me change the seed world. We're going to go back to A. We're going to create. Let's see how it fares with that. We're already um, 40 seconds in. Building terrain. Weird menu glitch there. Didn't see that in any of the other ones. Is this going to be slower? I think this is going to be slower. It only has about eight seconds to get into the world before it's going to be officially slower, and it hasn't even started building the terrain yet. All right, it's officially slower. And now, obviously, you're going to get some variance um, every time you create a new world, every time you load up. But the OLED is 10 seconds slower. Let's see how it actually performs once we get into the world. Again, we're going to run around a little bit. Still got some chunk rendering issues. Was non-problematic. Um, because it is loading in faster than you could possibly play. Still uh, a little stammering there. Going to call it out. So we do have a little bit of stuttering. Let's do this. Imagine take the same route that I did the first one, which is cool. Okay, no issue on the block breaking. Let's go get some wood. Menu pops up. Crafting bench. We're going to go in and out of the crafting bench. Yeah, that, that's stuttery as well. So I would say that uh, they're all very usable. If you were on the go and you wanted to play Minecraft... Um, you didn't want to play Pocket Edition because you just want to use the bigger screen of the Switch. I would say all three are 100% usable. Which, much better. In fact, I loaded up all three in about the time that it took me to load up one five years ago. So, is Minecraft viable in 2024 on the Nintendo Switch? Yes. Is it the best ex experience of it? Definitely not. Um, but, I... Yeah, I would say that this is arguably playable. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Never mind. Take it all back. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to follow. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out on twitch.tv slash BigSharkGaming. We stream there almost every day. Um, we're growing. We're closing in on 220 followers. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys head over there and you know, give us a follow. Support the channel. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, God. My face was there this time. Oh, God. It just I, I think it was mid-blink. Very cursed. Very cursed. Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody.